You're not going to want to miss this adventure as we make our way from Las Vegas to Sequoia National Park. On the way, we'll visit the oldest saloon in the Vegas area, see the world's largest thermometer, stop at an alien store and see the spaceship hotel they're building, tour the Calico Ghost Town, and stop in at the world's largest Chevron. We hope you'll join us on this adventure. All right, all packed up. We're gonna start heading out towards Sequoia today, but on our way, we're gonna stop at a few places. One's gonna be a Pioneer Saloon, and it's the oldest one in the Las Vegas area. So let's go check it out. We just made it to the Pioneer Saloon. Nestled in the heart of Good Springs, Nevada, just a short drive from Las Vegas, this saloon was established in 1930 and is the oldest bar in Southern Nevada. Legend has it that Clark Gable waited at the bar for news of his wife, Carol Lombard, who tragically perished in a plane crash in the nearby mountains. So the Pioneer Saloon is awesome. They've got this dining room right here that has different walls that are associated with you know, some of the music era. And behind me you've got Carol Lombard and Clark, Clark Gable memorial wall for some of the films. We've got some history over here of the, the town of Good Springs. And then right over here, if you remember, if you remember the game Fallout Las Vegas, it's based on the saloon area. 1913 table here, there's another 1913 table by the side. The original table from the... Yeah, where you came in, where a guy got shot in 1915. And that's the bullet holes. Yeah. This is definitely a journey into the Old West. All right, if you are gonna stop at the Pioneer Saloon and you need some gas, you might as well get some gas at the world's largest Chevron, which is at the same exit. Look at all of these gas pumps. You will never have to wait in line to get gas. Why wouldn't there be a plane inside here? They've even got their own Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas sign. It's not often you find a Chevron that has rides in it. Or an alien saucer hanging from the ceiling. Well, this place is wicked. <laughs> it's huge in here. They've got just about anything you could ever want on a road trip. Need to go to the restroom? Follow the airplane. For all you White Castle fans, it's the place to come if you're just near Vegas. After leaving the Chevron, we headed to the world's largest thermometer. We have just made it to Baker, home to the world's tallest thermometer. This is another unique stop as you're making your way from Vegas toward Los Angeles or Sequoia National Park. So let's take a look and see what the temperature is. 106 degrees. I got confirmation it's called temp 134 because 134 degrees is the hottest recorded temperature in Death Valley. Another nice thing about this Temp 134 shop is behind it, they have an electric charging station. So you can come here, charge your vehicle, take a look at the gift shop, and then swing on down to Alien Jerky, which is where we're going to head to next. Spaceship! Lucas, what is this place? This is Did alien. aliens take over? Mm, yes. You're not going to believe this. The aliens are here. They are here. Want some proof? I've got their spaceship that they're repairing, and they've built a store. Oh my gosh, should we explore it? Yes. Oh gosh, here we go. This is their store. And this is their car. And it's the Alien Space Patrol. They have guns and rods. Oh no. Look at the aliens, they're here. <gasps> there they are. Look at all the jerky. We gotta buy some jerky here. Oh, that's awesome. And ET's on top, did you see that? <laughs> now you want to know what the all-knowing alien sees in your future? They offer 23 types of jerky, which is crazy, and they are quite delicious. So this place is crazy busy. It's a popular spot for sure. Uh, they got knickknacks and toys and candy and everything. But of course, their most popular thing is their jerky, which we're going to get. They have talked about online that they are, their dream is to build a hotel and attraction center and they are underway. 
If anyone does get a chance to come out here, please tell us what this place is like if you go inside. Oh, it's getting windy, but and it's hot. It feels like a blow dryer. But hey, this place is really cool to swing into. You're in this area. You get two birds, one stone with the world's tallest thermometer and alien fresh jerky. Check it out. After leaving alien jerky, we made the hour drive to the Calico Ghost Town, an old west mining town that has been around since 1881. Okay, we just made it to the Calico Ghost Town. This is in Yermo, California. It costs $21 for two adults and a child to come in here. So $8 per adult and $5 per child. So Calico Ghost Town was the largest silver mining camp in California from 1881 to 1896. Oh my, look at the temperature. It's almost 110, it's 108 degrees. Located in the Mojave Desert near Barstow, California, this silver mine was abandoned in the mid-1890s after silver lost its value. Walter Knott of Knott's Berry Farm purchased Calico in the 1950s, restoring all but five buildings to look as they did in the 1880s. Baby rattlesnakes! Oh no, it's baby rattles. Get in jail. You get in there. You're getting locked up. Sit on the dynamite. You're in jail now. No getting out of jail. Bye. So I'll be honest with you, Calico Ghost Town is not what I expected it to be. I expected it to just be this, literally a ghost town, and you could just wander around and check it out. But it is so commercialized. There's actually a sign that says, Knott's Berry Farm had this reconditioned and rebuilt as a replica, for the most part, of the other real Calico Ghost Town. I wouldn't recommend coming out here. Save your money. Uh, just read about it online. Or in this vlog, you get to see all the all the buildings. We left the 108 degree temps of Calico to head to our hotel for some pool time after another long travel day. Lucas did great entertaining himself during the second long drive day of the trip. Perfect. Love it. He can't even fall out of it. Home sweet home in our hotel room for two nights. Let's go check out the pool. Yay. That is not going to be enjoyed on this trip. But hey, we're not here for the hotel. We're here for Sequoia National Park, right? You want to swim, huh? Yes. Ah! Well, we've made it to Visalia, the biggest town right outside of Sequoia National Park. And we are going to go explore the park tomorrow for our full day here. Don't miss out on our next episode where we explore Sequoia National Park, hike the Morro Rock Trail, play in the huge sequoia trees, and drive our car through one, visit the largest tree on earth, climb into a burned out giant sequoia, and walk through a fallen angel. If you're enjoying our content, we would absolutely love if you'd subscribe and hit the bell to get reminded of our next videos. Thanks.